got the power, the power to lead. Who answers the call for friends in need? Super Y! Super Y! He's the guy, he's Super Y! Who's got the power, the power to lead? Who looks into books for the answers we need? Super Y! Super Y! And the Super With the Super Readers, adventure waits when you're with Super Y. Super Y and the Super Readers, yeah. Super Y and the Super Readers. Adventure waits when you're with Super Y. Glad you're here. It's me, Wyatt. Hi, Wolfster. Welcome to Storybrook Village, where all our fairy tale friends live. Whoa! Looks like Pig and Red are setting up a tent. Let's go see. Come on. Nice trick, Wolfster. Hi, Y. Hi, Pig. Hi, Wyatt. Want to play camp out with us? Yeah, that sounds fun. Our tent is ready. Whoa, you built that tent yourself? I build things. It's what I do. <laughs> okay, let's put the tent here. In this nice and shady spot. Hmm. That's too shady. I want to put it here, on this hill. Hmm. Pig? That's too hilly. We'll tip over. Mm hmm I want to put it near these flowers. I <laughs> Too, too sneezy. sneezy. I want my shady spot. I want my hilly spot. And I want my flowery spot. Shady. Hilly. Flowery. Hilly. I want flowery. I said shady. <sighs> this is a super big problem. And a super big problem needs us, the super readers. We need to call the rest of the super readers. Call them with me. Say, calling all super readers. Calling all super readers. To the book club! To the book club! Come on, to the book club! Wyatt here! Ruff, ruff. P is for pig! Red Riding Hood, rolling in! Princess P, at your service. And you, say your name. Great, we're all here. Together, we will solve our problem. Let's go. Okay, Wyatt, state our problem. We're playing camp out. Oh, what fun! <laughs> but we can't agree on where to put the tent. What should we do? Good question, Wyatt. When we have a question, we look... In a book! Which book should we look in? Peas and carrots. Carrots and peas. Book come out, please, please, please! Let's read the title of this book. The Three Bears Go Camping. We know what to do. We need to jump into this book 
and find the answer to our problem. First, we look for super letters. And then put them into our super duper computer. Super duper computer, how many super letters do we need? In this story, we need 10 super letters. And then we will get our super story answer. It's time to transform. Ready? Ready! Super duper. Arms in. Put your arm in. Super readers. Once upon a time, the three bears decided to go camping. Three bears! One, two, three. Let's go camping! Yeah, camping! The bears started to hike to the campsite. I want to go this way. I want to go this way. I want to go that way. <gasps> They cannot decide which way to go. If we can't agree, we'll never get to the campsite. Never ever. Oh. And that, Super Readers, is why we are in this book. The bears can't agree on which way to go. Just like my friends and I can't agree on where to put our tent. We need to find the three bears and help them get to the campsite. Let's roll! Three bears. <gasps> Super readers. <laughs> oh, we are so very glad to see you. We need to hike to the campsite. But we can't agree on which way to go. This way is best, I tell you. The best. Papa Bear, that way is too twisty. We'll get lost. I want to go this way. That's too straight. I saw a trail over there. Not too twisty, not too straight. Just right. <gasps> My twisty trail is best, I insist. Come on, bears, you'll see. Mm, I don't know about this. Come on, Super Eaters. Down the twisty trail we go. <laughs> oh, it's a bird. <laughs> hey, look. Wow. Ooh. Is this the right way? I feel like we're going in circles. Wait a minute. Is that bird following us? Are we there yet? Ooh. Oh, huh. Papa Bear. Oh. Are you sure we're going the right way? Of course I'm sure. Now we go that way. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I mean, that way. Actually, I think we're lost. Lost? Oh, dear. How are we going to find our way to the campsite now? to the campsite. Let's look at the map. First, we need to find a W. Then a P. And then a C. And then we'll get to the campsite. First, we need the W. These are all lowercase letters. Do you see a lowercase W? There! there. There's the lowercase w. W for waterfall. ABC, follow me! Cool! <laughs> oh my! Next, we need the letter P. Do you see the lowercase p? There! There's the lowercase p. P for pond. ABC, follow me! Whoa! <laughs> wow! Now we need a C. Where's the lowercase c? There! There's the c. C is for campsite. ABC, follow me! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> the campsite! Lickety letters! We used the alphabet trail map and made it to the campsite. Let's give ourselves a big thumbs up. Let's set up camp. Remember to look out for super letters. <laughs> oh, you see super letters. Which letters? C, C M, M S. S. C, M, and S. Oh, yeah. Let's put them into our super duper computer. Seven more super letters, and then we'll get our super story answer. Super job, super readers. Come on. Time to build our tent. Now the best way to do this is fast, I tell you. Fast! <laughs> Papa Bear, that's too fast. You need to build the tent nice and slow. Isn't this nice? It's way too slow, Mama Bear! I say fast. Slow. Fast. Slow. Fast would be no, better. You fast. put the ball no. in the bottom I of the thing here and then you bend it over and then you oh. Okay. I would have built it not too fast, not too slow. Just right. Woof. Oh dear. We poked a hole in our tent. What are we gonna do now? We poked a hole? Through the sparkles. Cue the music. Princess Presto to the rescue! With my magic spelling wand, I can spell the word patch to fix the hole in the tent. Ready? Spell patch with me. What letter makes the sound P? P. P. Wands up. Write the lowercase letter P with me. What letter makes the sound ah? A. A. Write the lowercase letter A with me, like this. What letter makes the sound t? T. T. Write the lowercase letter T with me. Now, 
what two letters make the sound ch? C and, and H. H. C and H. Write the lowercase c with me. Now write the lowercase h with me. P A T C H. Patch. Presto! <laughs> Spectacular spelling. We spelled patch and helped patch up the tent. <laughs> and finally, splendid. Let's take a bow. Thanks, Princess. Hi, Pa. <laughs> Come on, bears. How about we make a good old-fashioned campfire? Oh, I'll get a log. I'll get some <laughs> stick. Come on. <laughs> yeah. You see more super letters. Which ones? R E M O. R, E, M, and O. We need to put them into our super duper computer. Three more super letters, and then we'll get our super story answer. Nice work, super readers. And that's what happened to the ghost who was afraid of Halloween. Woo! Good story, Wonder Red. I love hearing ghost stories when I'm camping. And it wasn't even scary. <sighs> <sighs> well, it's getting late. Three bears, one, two, three. It's time for bed. Come, my cub, into the tent. <sighs> Good night, super readers. Good, Good night, night, three bears. bears. <laughs> Where are we going to sleep? A princess is always prepared. Hmm. Wow. Ooh, awesome. Wow. Uh, good night. Sweet dreams, everyone. <laughs> Nighty night. Have a good sleep. Huh? Mm -hmm. <gasps> I heard a scary noise. Me too. What if it's a bear? Ah! Wait! We're bears. <sighs> what if it's a person? Ah! I'm scared. <gasps> Listen, everyone. There's nothing to be afraid of. Let's just look at our story. The three bears hear a scary noise. Okay, I was wrong. We can be scared. <laughs> we need to help the three bears not be so scared. And us. Don't forget us. But how? Super Y to the rescue! With the power to read, I can change the story and save the day. Let's change the word scary in this sentence. Zap! Why, writer? Right. Super readers, what kind of noise would help the three bears not be scared? Hmm. Terrible, friendly, or loud? Hmm. Let's try friendly. Where's the word friendly? It starts with an F. There! There. Zap. Zap! Let's read. The three bears hear a friendly noise. Hello! <gasps> <laughs> oh, I'd recognize that friendly voice anywhere. That's not scary at all. It's... Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Did the word friendly help the three bears not be scared? Yes! Yes. Super job, super readers. We changed the story 
And now the three bears aren't scared. <laughs> Goldilocks, are you wandering around the woods again? Well, I heard you were going camping, and I thought we could make something to eat. <gasps> but I only have one pot. Hmm. Shall we make porridge or s'mores? Mmm, s'mores. I choose s'mores. But I want to make porridge. I love my porridge. S'mores. Porridge. I, uh, s'mores. Porridge. I, I love the, the s'mores. The simplicity of porridge oh, is so exactly what we need as a marshmallow. Ah. Mama, Papa, how about we put a little s'mores in the porridge? Huh. Now that's a great compromise, baby bear. What's a compromise? Wuffster to the rescue! With my doggy dictionary, I can tell you what any word means. Compromise means giving up a little bit of what you want so everyone can agree. Compromise. Now we know what it means. Woof de doo! Give your tail a whack! Putting porridge in s'mores is a great compromise. We can call it. S'morage. S'morage for everyone! <laughs> You see our last super letters. Which ones? O. P. I. I. O. P. I. Oh, yeah. Let's put them in our super duper computer. computer. We found all of our super letters. Now we can get our super story answer. Thanks for all your help, Super Readers. Bye-bye! <laughs> Happy camping! Oh, cool. <laughs> Wide Flyers, back to the book club. We found the Super Story Answer with Super Y. Super computer, give us our super story answer. Read the letters with me. C O M P R O M I S E. The super story answer is. Compromise. But why? Because when the three bears compromised, they found a solution that they could all agree on. So our question is, what should we do if we can't agree on where to put our tent? And our answer is... Compromise! compromise. If we compromise, we can find a place to put the tent that we'll all agree on. Let's try it. Okay, I want a shady spot. And I want a hilly spot. And I want a flowery spot. What about... <gasps> this spot right here. It's not too sunny, it's not too hilly, it's not too flowery. It's just right. right. Great compromise. Now let's go camping. <laughs> <laughs> hip, hip, hooray. The Super Eater saved the day. Hip, hip, hooray. Hooray. The Super Eater saved the day. We changed the story. We solved the problem. We work together, so hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hooray! The Super Reader saved the day! Hip, hip, hooray! Hooray! The Super Reader saved the day! Hi! 
So glad you're here. It's me, Wyatt. Hi, Wooster. Welcome to Storybrook Village, where all our fairy tale friends live. It looks like Red got a new toy. Let's go see. Let's go. Wow! Cool hoop! Thanks! It spins and spins and spins! I even learned a new cool trick. It goes like this. I spin the hoop on my arm, then throw it up in the air and catch it on my other arm. Watch! One... Whoa! I did it before. Let me try again. One, two... Ugh. I just have to... One, two... Ugh. One, two, spin around! Ugh, double drats. I want to show you my new trick, but now I can't do it. I am so frustrated. This is a super big problem. And a super big problem needs us, the super readers. We need to call the rest of the super readers. Call them with me. Say, calling all super readers. Calling all super readers to the book club! To the book club! Come on, to the book club! <laughs> Wyatt here! PS4 Pig! Rolling it, rolling it! Princess Peach, at your service. And you, say your name. Great, we're all here. Together, we will solve Red's problem. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, Red, state your problem. I want to show Wyatt my new trick, but now I can't do it. I'm so frustrated. Oh, sorry, Red. Sorry, Red. What should I do if I'm frustrated because I can't do my new trick? Good question, Red. When we have a question, we look... In a book! Which book should we look in? Peas and carrots. Carrots and peas. Book come out, please, please, please! Let's read the title of this book, The Rhyming Carnival. We know what to do. We need to jump into this book and find the answer to Red's question. First, we'll look for super letters. And then, put them into our super duper! Computer! Super duper computer, how many super letters do we need? In this story, we need eight super letters. And then we will get our super story answer. It's time to transform. Ready? Ready! Come on, Woofster. You're coming too. Woof. Super duper. Arms in. Put your arm in. Super readers. To the rescue! Alpha pig with alphabet power. Wonder Red with word power. Princess Presto with
flyers. We're ready to fly into this book. Yeah! Super readers to the rescue. It's time to fly with the super readers. Cause we've got a problem to solve. Super readers to the rescue. Super readers working together. We're in the book, The Rhyming Carnival. Let's read. Why, Ryder? Highlight. Read with me. The town was having a carnival. Come on! Come on! Aiden wanted to win a carnival game. I'm gonna play this game and win that purple porcupine. Aiden tried and tried, but did not win the game. Uh, what? Huh. I can't win. I'm so frustrated. And that, Super Readers, is why we are in this book. Aiden and Red are both frustrated because they can't do something they really want to do. Let's go talk to Aiden. Hey. We're the Super Readers. Oh, Super Readers. Am I glad to see you. I really want to win that purple porcupine. Just don't know how. Step <gasps> right up, stand in line, and win this purple porcupine. <gasps> I want that purple porcupine. Fantastic. <laughs> All you have to do is win three games, and the porcupine is yours. Yes, what do I do? Well, you have to rhyme. Each of these rings has a word on it. So to win, all you have to do is toss the ring around the word that rhymes. Toss? Uh, what's toss? Wobster to the rescue! With my doggy dictionary, I can tell you what any word means. Toss means to throw something very gently. Toss! Now we know what it means. A woof de doo Give your tail a whack! Okay, I can do that. I can toss these rings. Here goes nothing. Okay, dig rhymes with cat. Oh, rats! Matt rhymes with Pam? What? Tan. Pig? Uh, huh. Ant. Pan? Uh, oh. Bed. Bed. Cat. Uh, <gasps> I can't win this game. How do I rhyme? Did you say how do you rhyme? Wanderer to the rescue! With my word power, I can help you rhyme. If you want to rhyme, it's easy as can be. So get right up and rhyme along with me. Rhymes are words that sound the same at the end. So think of a word and then find a friend. Like cat and bat. Or cup. Cup? Okay. Yay! Let's play! You go, Joe. I mean, Aiden. You rhyme all the time! <gasps> Let's read this word. What letter is this? H. H. What sound does H make? <gasps> And this says at. At. 
What word is this? Hat. Hat. Hat is an at word. I love at words. It's time to rhyme. At cat sat, wonder if your terrific hat rat mat, wonder if your terrific hat. <laughs> we need to toss this ring around another at word. I've got it. Wait, slow down. Which word is an at word? Cat, pig, or pan? Cat. Cat. It's totally cat. We found a line. Let's keep playing. What letter is this? B. B. And B makes what sound? B. B. And this says egg. B. Egg. So what word is this? Big. Big. Big is an egg word. Which of these words is an egg word? Cat, pig, or pan? Pig. Yeah, I did it! We have a winner! <laughs> Wonderific! You are terrific! We found the rhymes and helped Aiden win the rhyming ring toss! Yes! I did it! Two more games, get in line, and then you'll win your Pocupine! What's the next game? The Word Wheel! To the Word Wheel! <gasps> Let's roll! Yes! <laughs> You see super letters? Which ones? L M N L M N. Cool. Now we need to put them into our super duper computer. Five more super letters and then we'll get our super story answer. Super job, super readers. What? Go, what? Aiden. You can do it. Welcome to the Word Wheel. So how do I play? First, I pick a word, and the wheel will spin. Then you... Rhyme? Ha-ha! <laughs> You've got it! <gasps> if you find a rhyme, push the button. If you don't find a rhyme, the wheel spins again. Your first word is... Mop. Mop. Okay. Okay. Let's try to find a rhyme. This says apple. Mop apple? Does mop rhyme with apple? No. Nah. Nope. Oh. Mop pillow? <gasps> Mop fish? Oh. Mop kite? Mm. Mop shoe? Oh. <gasps> oh. I just can't win this game. Who can help me play this game? With my word power, I can help you rhyme. Mop. That's an upward. Let's spin to find a rhyme. Okay, what letter is this? H. H. What sound does H make? <gasps> and this says, um. <gasps> um. What's this word? Hum. Hum. Does hum rhyme with mop? No. no! Nope, it doesn't. Spin again. <laughs> what letter is this? P. P, and this says op. P, op. What's this word? Pop! Pop. Does pop rhyme with mop? Yes. yes! Yes! 
We found a rhyme and helped Aiden win the word wheel. One more game, one more rhyme. And then I'll win the porcupine. You've got it. Last game is the whack -a word Do the whack -a word <laughs> You see more super letters? Which letters did you find? That's fantastic. We need to put them into our super duper computer. Three more super letters and then we'll find our super story answer. The whack of word is such a joy. Whack the rhymes to win this toy. I'll say a word just in time. Then you can whack the words that rhyme. I've got this. Your word is pin. Words that rhyme with pin. Okay. Long. <gasps> Hippo. Toe. Cow. <sighs> Do any of those words rhyme with pin? No. no. Nope. Which word rhymes with pin? Pipe! Elf! Bun! <gasps> Gar! Bug! Zoo! Oh, this is so frustrating! I'm not whacking any rhymes! Aiden, you can't figure out rhymes if you're playing so fast. But I have to! It says so in my story! See? Aiden plays the game quickly. Oh, I'll never win the game. What can I do? Super Y to the rescue! With the power to read, I can change the story and save the day. Let's change the word quickly in this sentence. Zap! Y writer, write. Super readers, what is the opposite of quickly? Badly, slowly, or loudly. Let's try slowly. Where's the word slowly? It starts with the letter S. There! There's the word slowly. Let's zap it into the sentence. Ready, set, zap. Let's read our new sentence. Aiden plays the game slowly. All right, let me do this slowly and think about it. Which word rhymes with pin? Tin, dog, or egg? Hmm. <gasps> tin! <laughs> okay, which one of these words rhymes with pin? Um. In. Does fin rhyme with pin? Yes! <laughs> one more word to win. Okay, last one. Which of these words rhymes with pin? W in. Win! Does win rhyme with pin? Yes! I won? Did playing slowly help Aiden calm down and not get frustrated? Yes! Yes! Super job, super readers! We changed the story and saved the day! <laughs> Yay! 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 I really won! Congratulations! <laughs> You've won, son! Hooray! I won, Purple Porcupine! You are mine! <laughs> you see our last super letters? Which ones? 
C D W. C D W. Let's put them into our super duper computer. We found all of our super letters. Now we can get our super story answer. You are so great at rhyming words. Thanks, Aiden. It's kind of my thing. Thanks for your help, super readers. Bye, Aiden. You're welcome. Bye. 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 Have fun with your purple porcupine. Wide flyers. Back to the book club. Come on, Woofster. Woofster. Super story answer with Super Y. Super duper computer, give us our super story answer. Read the letters with me. C A L M space D O W N. Calm down. Calm down. The super story answer is calm down. But why? Because Ada needed to calm down when he was frustrated. Then he was able to try again and win the game. So my question is, what should I do if I'm frustrated because I can't do my new trick? And your answer is... Calm, calm down. down. I should calm down. Okay, I'll try it. Come on. Okay, one, two, spinneroo. Here it goes. One, two... Ugh. Ugh. I can't get it. Okay, I need to calm down. Don't get frustrated, just breathe. <gasps> okay, I feel better now. Let me try again. One, two, spin it around! Yes, <laughs> I'm doing it! Are you watching? I see you, I see you. And your trick is super. Woohoo! <laughs> hip hip hooray! The super reader <laughs> saved the day. Hip hip hooray! Hooray! The super reader saved the day. We changed the story, we solved the problem. We worked together so hip. Hip hooray! Hooray! The super reader saved the day. Hip hip hooray! 